guys welcome to planning with ellie and happy sunday today we are going to be planning the fourth of july week and i love doing fourth of july i love doing holidays period um, because i think it's just so fun and festive and all the colors from all the holidays are such a great combination so july 4th is blue and red and white and i love blue it's my favorite color I'm not a big fan of red, but I think those combinations go together really nice. Here is the spread that I created in my Recollections Mini Planner last week. And overall, I think it came out so cute, so colorful, so fun. And it really makes me want to jump into this page and just have a fun summer day. So I really, really, really love that. Today I'm actually going to be doing a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing both of my planner spreads in one video because I actually I'm, I'm actually in the mood to do my monthly spreads with you guys. So that second video for today will be my monthly spreads um, for all of my planners. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and just do both spreads on one and then later on today I'll post all of my monthly spreads. Only because I really haven't shown you guys how to do them in a while or how I do them in a while. I kind of just post my pictures on Instagram and that's about it. But um, I'm really excited and I'm in the mood to plan today. I haven't planned um, all week just because I've been so tired and it's been just kind of busy and I've just been in the mood to just relax a little bit. So I do feel like I'm behind. I have to create a pocket letter. I actually have to finish two pocket letters. I have to start thinking of my videos for next week. There's a couple that I want to do, but at the same time, that would involve probably not doing a tutorial Tuesday. So I got to plan all that stuff out and see what I'm going to do for this week. I want to start using the June Planner Society kit, start getting that ready to do my traveler's notebook with you guys. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of things that I want to get done this week. I'm in the mood, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we are in the month of July now. So this is June, this is July, make it happen. Here's my monthly, which I'll do that later. And here we go, so we got some fresh new pages. And today I'm gonna be using the, what is this one? The Celebrate America 12 by 12 sheet by Echo Park. It's such a pretty sheet. I love it. I did buy it originally um, to do a pocket letter, but with pocket letters, I really like using die cuts more than stickers. So if I have any leftover, then you know I'll use it for my pocket letter, but if not, then I'll go to scrapbook.com and I'll just buy some die cuts. But I think I have a good amount of stuff to do a, um, a pocket letter. If you guys want to see a July 4th pocket letter, leave it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do that video for you guys as well. Um, but here, you look at how pretty this is. So this is really fun and pretty. So I have that, but I also have this right here. This is by Sticko. And I bought this little pack at, um, I want to say, Michael's a while back. And it's very fun and I love it. And I love clear stickers the most. So I'm going to be using that. I also pulled out my little bin with my... Um, Doodle bug die cuts from last year's 4th of July collection that I did. This was a this was such a pretty die cut set and I do have a little bit left over. I know I bought the 12 by 12 sheets and I cannot find them. For the life of me, I've been looking everywhere and I'm kind of upset because I know I had some left over and I could have used them. But I'm going to keep looking afterwards and if I find them then... I'm gonna do something with them. I also got my washi tape from Target. This I got last year and I didn't buy any this year because I'm like, I wanna use what I have. Um, when it comes to holidays, I'm just gonna try to use the stuff I have before I buy more. So these are really beautiful. I love this um, blue and white star and then this solid blue and then the anchors. And then I also got my little solid washi just in case I need it. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this one, I think I'm going to be using the sticko sheet, and I'm going to be using the stripe, the stars, the blue and white stars washi tape. So I'm going to go ahead, look at how pretty that looks laid down. So this is the kind that you have to peel, so I'm just going to cut it somewhere around here. 
and then I'm gonna have to just go ahead and peel it, which I like have no nails for. And I might just. All right, sorry guys, I had to pause the video so I can take this out because otherwise you, I would sit here for a while trying to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down right here. Really, really cute. I loved this. I used a lot of this washi and I can't believe I still had some left over. Very fun. This washi is also good for like, you know, Memorial Day weekend. Um, I'm gonna have to do the other side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. Sorry if I sound a bit nervous today. I don't know why, but I, I do feel a little bit nervous. As if I haven't filmed a video in a really long time. So I do apologize for that. Um, okay, so now I just need to open it to get an overview. Now I'm gonna have to use the um, thin washi. So I'm going to do the blue and the red. And I think I want to do the blue right here. This is more of a navy blue than a blue blue. But it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway because I don't really have like a navy blue type of color. And I should just use the scissors and then cut everything. And I'm gonna do the red as my focal point. I would love to use the stars washi throughout, but because it's kind of big, I'm not gonna use it. So I hope you guys had a great weekend and a great week as well. My week was good. Um, I think I just spent most of it doing like errands and all that type of stuff that never ends really. And then yesterday it was my cousin's farewell surprise party. She's moving to Haiti with her family and her husband and her two kids so we went, you know, to go send her off by having a nice little party with the whole family so that she had time to spend with everyone. So that was a nice little gathering. And then today, today's Sunday, I really don't have anything planned. I kind of want to go to the Dollar Tree, but I'm thinking I shouldn't. Um, I also do want to go to Target, but I might do that during the week. I don't think I'll do that today. I have the um, nine cubby that I was organizing that my sister-in-law had given me and I need to buy two drawer sets for that and then I'm pretty much done. So that's where I want to go. I'm really excited my cousin from California is coming to Chicago and he's a videographer and his stuff is really good. Um, and uh, he's gonna help me actually film an intro um, for my YouTube channel. So you guys be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited to see you know, what he creates for me. Nervous at the same time, because I don't know if I'm gonna put myself in it. You know, I really don't show you guys my face or anything like that. Um, so I'm not really sure if I want to do that yet. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut. Oh, I think I cut the paper. Put that over here. 
Whenever I cut my washi, I like to stack it in a little pile in the corner so it's easier to grab when I'm cleaning up. But that looks really cute so far. Oh, that looks so festive already. And even if you don't have any 4th of July washi, guys, you can do a whole red and blue um, washi tape spread, add some little cute blue stickers, uh, functional stickers, and you got yourself a nice little 4th of July spread. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and start adding these stickers. Uh, I think I have to cut this open. Yep. I bought some new dyes from AliExpress. It's the first time I shopped there and I'm really excited about it because they have some really nice things for a really, really good price. And I bought some new dyes for die cutting and I cannot wait to get those. I am super, super pumped. All right, so I'm gonna be using this one right here. So cute, and then I'm still gonna wanna use that, so I'll leave that there. And I'll probably even use this little one right here. Kind of just like here and there. So this might be a long video. Um, I hope you guys are okay with that. And put that back. So we'll leave that there. So that looks really cute so far. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these gorgeous stickers. I love the fireworks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that there. I'm gonna go ahead and add that there. And add the little one right there. Cute, huh? And then maybe put some like little stars in between them. Oh, this is so fun. I love clear stickers. They are definitely my favorite just because of the way they lie so pretty on the paper. And then maybe a little blue one over here. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. That alone is already beautiful. Um, okay, let's do the... Oh yes, I love it. A little tiny banner. We can put that over here in our Monday. Gorgeous. And I definitely want to do this USA right here. Let's see, it's Monday, Thursday. I can put that right there. Put that in between. It looks crooked. There we go. Do I like that there? Yeah, I guess that looks cute, right? Um, and then proud of the USA. That one's too big. I'm gonna have to use a smaller one. We can do the flag over here. And then this one says Liberty. This one's really cute. Stars and stripes. And then I'll start right there. And then the firework. Maybe we can add it over here somewhere. Actually, no, I need room to right there. Is that? 
And these stickers are really nice, and I think I got them for a really good price too. Um, we'll put this one here that says my hometown. And oh, I would have loved to use this big map, but I think I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna put this freedom over here. And just a little star right there. And the bigger star over here. All right, well, I think I'm done for this one. I think it looks really, oh, sorry, I just moved you guys. Okay, it looks really cute, I love it. This little corner is definitely my favorite. I love the little banner. All right, let's go ahead and put that to the side and let's get started with my A5 planner. All right, so here is the spread that I just finished for, the, for last week. And this is my summer vibe spreads with the popsicles as my inspiration and I love it, guys. So fun and cute and colorful again. Um, okay, so we are, that's June, this is July. I'm gonna move my notes. And, here we go. How pretty are these rings? They're like a nice rose gold. Oh, and I have to do my new setup too. Oh my gosh, I have so many videos I have to do. All right, here we go. So for this one, I think I'm gonna be using this, of course. And I think I'm gonna start with this right here. I'm gonna start with this up top. How cute is that? Very nautical. All right, and then I'm gonna do this one right here. Hopefully it's enough. I always forget. Perfect, just enough. Cute, right? Look at that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually do this one right here. But I need to put, actually, yeah, let me see. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to white out this right here. So that it's not that noticeable when I lay down my other washi. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. And get it as close as possible so it doesn't look like there's a gap. I should have put white washi under there, which I think I could have, but it's all right, it's already laid down. Oh my God, that looks so cute. We're gonna go ahead and put this same thing right here. Yeah. How pretty is that, guys? Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, see, so I could have did the white washi underneath so that that doesn't show as much, but it's okay, I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna take it out because then I might mess it up. I'm just going to punch through this, make sure my hole is nice and clear and visible. And okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some washi tape up here. And I think I'm going to do the red for this one. Just because, again, the blue is, it's not so navy. So we're going to just keep the red.
Hopefully I'm staying in frame. So are you guys, did you guys start working on your 4th of July spreads? Leave it in the comments down below and tag me in your Instagram guys if you guys have Instagram pages and if you follow me, tag me because I want to see your spreads as well. I'm sure you guys create beautiful spreads. Um, I'd love to see what other people create. You know, it's always so nice to see how everybody has a different type of creativity. So definitely, you know, don't be hesitant. I'd love to see what you make. So I'm gonna have to cut this right there. That looks so cute. It's like a fun, festive party. All right. How pretty is that? Okay, and oh, I need to do one more right here. Duh. That looks really cute. Um, should I do anything down here? Actually, I should do it. Do this one. That says freedom. I'm gonna put this one right here. It's not enough to add, but I can always do a different one. So that looks cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there just because I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there yet. But I think I definitely want to use this one. And I'm gonna put this right here. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Um, I really like this word that says America. Ooh, kind of fragile, kind of fragile. And I think I just messed it up. Okay, I'm gonna have to lay this down carefully. I should get the A first, right? I did not know that was going to come out like that. I think I was going to put it right here. So A is for America. So M. And of course, it's all crooked. Started off straight, but I don't want to move it. So I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crooked. Oh, that sucks. But I don't want to move it. Oh well. I definitely want to put the flag because, well, why not? So I think I'm gonna put the flag up here. And then, Mm -hmm. There's so many other cute things. Should I do the map? I'm gonna put the map up here. And I think that's crooked too. I have a crooked eye today. Um, maybe we'll do like a firework here.
I like this red, white, and blue. I'm gonna put it right here. Wow, that fit perfect. I'm gonna do the little fireworks. Right here. So I'm just kind of combining those stickers now. I want to put something right here, that's why I'm not sure if I should do that. But I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this one. Sorry guys, we are almost done. Almost done, almost done. All right. Proud of USA, I'll put that right there. And then, you know what? I think I'm gonna put this little fool guy. Oh, the Statue of Liberty. That's the one I wanted to use. I think I'll put this one right there. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way to use her, because I want to use her. Dang it, I forgot about her. I'm going to have to put her right there. Hey, that looks cute, right? Um, I want to do something. Oh, maybe her. She's cute. Put her right here. I'll put a little firework right here. <laughs> this makes no sense, but I guess kind of to fill up the space, right? Um, okay, and I should just start finishing this off probably with like... Um, I don't know. I love the flowers, but I think the flowers I can save for my... Um, what do you call it? Oh, sorry guys, I just moved you again. There we go. I think the flowers I'm going to save for the pocket letter. And I'm just going to put the freedom up here. All right, there we go. I think that looks so cute, guys. I love it. And then I can always do my functional stickers here, um, as well as my writing. And then a functional sticker here, as well as my writing. Functional writing, um, writing, then functional. Um, yeah, so I got a good amount of space to write my stuff. Maybe not for Sunday, but I don't really do much on Sundays unless I have a event, or like event going on. But that is it, guys. These are my 4th of July spreads. They came out so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and charge my phone and film my other videos. So be on the lookout for that. Um, make sure you guys hit that post notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, it will alert you right away that I have a new video up. Because sometimes if you're subscribed, sometimes I think it doesn't really do it. Um, so be sure to do that, guys. I want to thank you guys because my channel has reached 1,715 subscribers. I am just so in shock, guys. Like, I am so beyond touch, so beyond excited. Like, I love that it's growing. I love that you guys just keep on joining me. Welcome to my channel, you know, to my world of planning and crafting. This is what I love to do, and I love to share my ideas with you guys. So thank you so much. Um, let's make it to 1,800 next. Um, we're on the road to 2K. I've been trying to think of what I'm going to do to celebrate my 2,000 milestone. So um, I'll keep you guys posted as far as that goes, but thank you guys so much. I love you all. So you guys know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ellie underscore plan with me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.